The title of the richest person on Earth seems to ping-pong between tech titans every few years, but the real meaning of richness is if it is spent with both hands. Such people are very few, and among these one is Hassan al-Bolkaya. Now, unless you closely follow global monarchies, I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't heard much about the tiny, mysterious country of Brunei. This golden castle-dotted sultanate is secreted away on the northern coast of Borneo Island, encircled by the azure South China sea waters and emerald rainforest canopies within. For over six centuries, Brunei has been ruled by the same royal Bolkia dynasty whose palace walls and behind-the-scenes lifestyle are beyond anything your imagination can conjure. But what's been hidden from the public eye is that the current Sultan Hassan al Bolkia, reigning for over 50 years, has steadily built his royal dynasty to emerge as the richest monarch on planet Earth. Yes, with an estimated net worth of $30 billion, the Sultan of Brunei far surpasses the Queen of England and Saudi kings to sit firmly as the undefeated wealthiest royal ruler in all of human history. So how exactly has this tiny nation amassed such mammoth fortunes? And what does the daily routine of a multi-billion dollar emperor look like? What does someone who makes over $20 million per day spend their money on? Well, strap yourselves in, folks, because today we shall delve deep behind the palace fortresses, revealing all of the unbelievable secrets that enable the Sultan and family to live like 21st century gods. The rise of Brunei's oil riches. To understand how this mysterious monarch became so astoundingly rich, first, we must learn about the miraculous transformation of Brunei itself. Up until nearly a hundred years ago, Brunei operated as a loose collective of quiet fishing villages dotted along lush tropical coastlines. Like their nearby Indonesian and Malaysian neighbors, Brunei made a modest living trading spices, timber and sago pearls gathered from untapped jungles which sheltered their tranquil existence. But unbeknownst to these simple Bornean villagers, Beneath their feet lay a geological gift that would rocket Brunei faster into the ranks of the ultra-wealthy than nearly any country on Earth. In 1929, a visiting Shell Oil explorer happened to notice a peculiar tar-like substance bubbling up on the banks of a muddy creek. And upon analysis, Shell nearly leaped in shock when the substance lit up to reveal its true identity, oil. By the 1960s, just before our current Sultan came to power, rivers of liquefied wealth were spurting out from hundreds of wells and rapidly filling Brunei's swelling coffers. The tiny petrostate exponentially multiplied oil exports in the 1970s when prices rocketed to record peaks. Brunei's sleepy economy jolted wide awake to register explosive GDP growth rates of over 25% year-on-year, almost doubling its size every year. Absolute mountains of cash piled up so fast, this obscure corner of Borneo couldn't even figure out how to spend their rocketing oil profits quickly enough. Corruption-free and tightly managed by the Sultan's inner circle of advisors, Brunei rapidly soared up global economic rankings as one of the world's top 10 richest countries based on per capita income. A handful of monumental decisions by the Sultan completely transformed the country from a forgotten backwater village into a verdant garden paradise of gold-crowned palaces and ample government subsidies for all. Sultan's supreme authority over Brunei's oil and gas industry. Before we show you the truly breathtaking, mind-numbingly flamboyant ways our wealthy monarch chooses to spend this multi-billion dollar government revenue, Let's look at the power of authority the king possesses. Now to grasp the shockingly luxurious lifestyle of our dear Sultan. First, we must appreciate his almost supreme level of authority overseeing all matters in Brunei. As an absolute constitutional monarch with full executive control and only needing a council of advisors rather than democratic elections, Sultan Hassanal's word has the power of God within Brunei's borders, especially over national wealth drawn from its oil fields which have supplied nearly all government income and economic activity within the Sultanate. Brunei's oil and gas industry is essentially his privately owned trillion dollar company. Nearly every major deal related to hydrocarbon drilling or liquefied natural gas exports from Brunei's reserves must gain the final green light directly from the Sultan himself. Whether it's signing agreements with foreign contractors, allocating budgets for further oil exploration, or deciding national policies that promote stability and his family's interests. At the end of the day, Sultan Hassanal oversees all, 
Furthermore, not only does Brunei export nearly 160,000 profitable barrels of oil daily to fulfill global energy appetites, but the Sultan also fully owns or has majority shares across Brunei's few economic generators beyond oil and gas. From controlling its largest investment corporations like the Brunei Investment Agency or select industries like Royal Brunei Airlines to wield exclusive distribution rights for coveted automobile brands or directing national construction conglomerates. The thick fingers of the Sultan's Bolkaya clan are firmly thrust into many lucrative pies domestically. In a nutshell, with Brunei's petroleum profits solely feeding state coffers controlled by the Sultan, plus his family's firm grip over whatever other attractive commercial assets exist in their tiny kingdom, you realize the foundations fueling their bottomless bank accounts are stronger than steel. So now that you appreciate how the royal flames of Brunei's oil industry and overall economy lie firmly under the Sultan's command, next comes the palaces bigger than 10 football stadiums to exotic animal collections rivaling most zoos. Just wait till you witness how the Brunei royals nonchalantly fritter away riches beyond your wild imagination daily. Palace Overview Welcome to the Sultan of Brunei's primary place residence, nicknamed the Istana Nurul Iman, meaning place of divine light, which already gives hints of the sheer grandeur housed behind these ornamented walls. Now to merely call Istana Nurul Iman a luxurious mansion or lavish stately home like European castles would be the understatement of the century. Let's begin unlocking the secrets with some basic facts. Set on a sprawling high hill providing stunning panoramic views of Brunei's capital and rainforest canopy, Istana Nurul Iman weighs in as the largest residential palace on planet Earth. With a dizzying floor space of over 2 million square feet, housing 1,800 mind-blowing rooms spread across three gigantic golden domed buildings larger than most airport terminals. To put in perspective just how ridiculously colossal Istana Nurul Iman Palace is, Buckingham Palace in the UK has a mere 775 rooms, while the White House has 132 rooms. This means this royal residence in Brunei is big enough to contain both plus the Palace of Versailles in France, with space left over. But the wildest fact about the extravagant Sultan's main palace is that he specifically had it built to become three times bigger than the Palace of Versailles, once he discovered France's iconic monument was listed as the largest palace. Yes, you heard that right. Purely out of competitive ego, Brunei's Sultan blew billions to construct his residence, crushing all records for the world's biggest royal dwelling. As we venture inside the renowned landmark etched into the Guinness Book of World Records, the sheer lavishness and size immediately leave visitors awestruck with jaws stuck to the glittering floor. Every inch drips in exquisite craftsmanship and luxury sourced globally for renovations costing hundreds of millions annually. It's as if 1,000 rooms on a seven-star hotel floor were given heavy doses of majestic royal steroids transforming everything into XXL proportions. Twinkling 24-carat gold trimmings lined across vaulted ceilings, exotic Brazilian wood doors inlaid with sterling silver patterns, hand-sewn rugs with golden silk threads or studded with diamonds, semi-precious stones embedded into shimmering marble flooring, exquisite crystal chandeliers, and this sheer royal opulence barrage bombards your senses whichever wing you explore. One government official fainted witnessing this sheer grandeur according to urban legend. This visual feast leaves Versailles looking like an IKEA showroom. Trust me, we've barely begun unlocking secrets inside the Emir's gorgeous pleasure fortress. Palace interior, details and features. Venturing deeper inside one discovers dedicated guest resident wings operated by world-class hospitality brands for state dignitaries containing over 200 lavish suites. Along with air-conditioned private reception rooms for diplomatic meetings equipped for secure video conferences, Entire lower floors house maintenance staff quarters larger than most apartments to run this micro city. While elsewhere entire halls are full of precious Brunei artifacts in specially constructed galleries with stable temperatures preserving historic treasures. Rising towards the heavens soars a grand staircase draped in Italian silk spanning five floors across golden banisters carved by Indonesian artisans. No costs spared crafting this peak royal splendor. Outdoors reveal Olympic-sized swimming pools, tennis courts, badminton zones, and children's playgrounds. 
except everything looks more magnificent than professional sports facilities. Landscaped gardens with exotic flowering trees, dancing fountains, royal polo fields, and even entire man-made beaches with imported soft white sand for His Majesty's enjoyment by royal decree. Acres upon acres of grounds littered with such outrageous recreational equipment solely for the Sultan's family. But we've saved the best secrets within this resplendent palace for last, and that's none other than the mysterious power room. Hushed whispers amongst palace staff point towards this confidential conference chamber, accessible only to the Sultan and his closest progeny. Amongst its outrageous features include remote-controlled ceiling bays which, when opened, reveal one of the most extravagant chandelier collections ever assembled. Yes, you heard that right. The power room contains over 3,000 dazzling diamond and crystal chandeliers hanging above to bedazzle visitors in resplendent form. And if that isn't mind-blowing enough, this exclusive room also houses advanced telecommunications equipment enabling global video conferences and real-time military tracking capabilities. No costs were spared in constructing the Sultan's headquarters for ruling his wealthy empire. We could explore endlessly the sheer extravagance stuffed inside Brunei's largest royal residence, bursting with outrageous luxury in every corner. But now let us showcase even more lavish palaces and mansions, the immense property portfolio of this $20 billion monarch. The Sultan's other palaces. While Istana Nurul Iman Palace serves as the official dwelling and seat of Brunei's government, shockingly the 125,000 square meter behemoth is just the crowning jewel amongst many other splendid royal residences sprinkled across the Brunei Kingdom's 16 different districts. That's right, your jaws will drop discovering that the Sultan owns around 12 more sprawling palaces and luxury estates gifted to queen consorts, siblings and extended royal family all maintained using state funds. Now, while not matching Istana's world record size, these other regal abodes feature stunning architecture with iconic golden domes and sheer scale akin to five-star resorts. For example, nestled along Brunei's northern beaches lies the Sparkling One, 700-room palace compound exclusively for holiday luxury getaways. These beachfront villas house separate air-conditioned stables and garages just for their elite collection of prized horses and vehicles. Next door is the gigantic 3000 car parking facility to store a portion of the royal family's $4 billion vehicle fleet when at sea. The glittering mansions themselves feature thrilling additions like indoor roller skating rinks, private cinemas with reclining massage chair seating, badminton courts, helipads, man-made lagoons, a mini water park, and synchronized illuminated dancing fountains. Everything turned up to ludicrous levels of enjoyment, no expenses spared for His Majesty's leisurely retreats along pristine coastlines. Elsewhere within Brunei's verdant interior, a mammoth one, 100 guest room palace exclusively hosts the royal's frequent business symposiums and glamorous celebrations attended by visiting foreign diplomats. No costs were spared in constructing the golden-trimmed five-story facility with entire annex buildings housing 100 chefs and orchestral band teams to cater such prestigious events. And that's not even counting the dozen luxury country manor houses, sprawling ranch estates, and modern hilltop villas awarded to various princes and privileged members within the large royal family tree. Each mansion is equipped with the latest smart home features, indoor basketball courts, exclusive cinema rooms, and glittering chandeliers in every bedroom. That's the reality of royalty here. Almost every offspring or sibling inherits multi-million dollar homes, stockpiled like toys since childhood. Even their mansions put Beverly Hills estates to shame, signifying the extreme wealth gushing non-stop in Brunei. Now, so far, these residential palaces lie clustered within driving distance of Brunei's homeland itself. But what will surely drop your jaws next is realizing just how many more hundreds of mansions, townhouses and vacation villas the Sultan's family owns scattered across the globe. Global Mansion Collection as the undisputed wealthiest royal dynasty in recent history, with almost unlimited resources supporting their luxurious lifestyles. The bulkiers hold an insatiable thirst for amassing breathtaking real estate and hotel assets to showcase global influence. Their elite list of residential trophy holdings located in some of the most prestigious neighborhoods across five continents is the stuff of legends. 
We're talking about an entire street of historic 10-bedroom villas alongside Kensington Palace Gardens in London, a sprawling Scottish castle where the blockbuster film Gladiator was shot, one of Spain's top architectural estates used by royalty since the 1800s, a dozen ski chalets gracefully perched across the Swiss Alps. Not to mention, the Beverly Hills Hotel in Los Angeles is owned by the Brunei Royals after paying over a $100 million price tag. The same goes for their stake in some of Europe and America's most iconic historic palace hotels, like the Plaza Athene Hotel Paris and Hotel Eden Rome. Yes, world-famous postcard legacy landmarks are casually snatched up to serve as Sultan's occasional pizza terre while vacationing abroad. Oh, and the family has entire tropical private islands gifted to the Queen and Princesses off the shores of Australia's Gold Coast and Malaysia's coastline featuring sprawling multi-million dollar villa compounds. That's before we get to the 100-room royal suite permanently reserved for their stay in top lodging addresses of London, Paris and Switzerland, should Brunei's royals fancy an impromptu shopping spree on foreign soils. With their public net worth now ballooning up to $20 billion, acquiring such glamorous assets sprinkled globally gives this rarely seen monarchy great pride and thrill knowing the masses can only dream of glimpsing such regal lifestyles reserved for one sultanate clan. So whether it's summers along the French Riviera, winters skiing Switzerland's slopes, or relaxing weekends in their Beverly Hills mansion, the Brunei royals have every luxury dwelling any billionaire could want available on tap thanks to magnificent oil wealth solely funding their existence. The world's largest car collection if those dozen palace residences haven't left your mind boggled yet at the unacceptable opulence of Brunei's supreme ruler, just wait till we reveal their iconic collection of over 500 ultra-rare luxury vehicles from the most prestigious auto brands. Valued at over $4 billion, the Sultan of Brunei does not just casually own a few dozen nice rides. Instead, housed across specially dedicated Brunei facilities lies the single largest, most valuable private compilation of unique cars on Earth. From one-off, custom-made rolls, Royce Phantoms finished in 24-karat gold, obscure, priceless classics from pre-World War eras to contemporary multi-million dollar beasts dripping in diamonds. They own it all. What's truly unbelievable is the lengths Brunei's royalty have gone to fulfilling their fondest childhood, Formula One dreams, simply asking brands like Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini and Koenigsegg to construct completely bespoke vehicles precisely matching the Sultan's outrageously flashy specifications. And of course, these manufacturers wouldn't dare reject a blank check from the world's wealthiest car collector politely funding their Skunk Works wishlist programs. Around his skyscraper-sized palace are over 110 air-conditioned garages and dedicated buildings custom-fitted precisely just to house these 7,000-plus elite vehicles maintained by the Sultan's $2 million per year, team of 30 car specialists regularly polishing to perfection. Within the capital are another five special facilities strictly for parking their stretched limousines, jewel-encrusted Rolls Royces, and the latest bespoke acquisitions truly unlike anything automobile fans have witnessed before. This is the pinnacle temple showcasing mankind's evolution of four-wheeled motorized dreams since its inception. And considering Brunei's automobile-loving ruler gets bored quickly, the royals think nothing of discarding six-figure luxury rides after just a single weekend before grabbing the latest keys to their next flashy toy. Yes, you heard that right. These vehicles likely get used once before heading into long-term museum-style storage forever, as the Sultan lavishly acquires the next limited production car, striking his mega-rich fancy. Clearly, when your daily income often exceeds millions passively from oil profits. Maintaining a multi-billion dollar museum-quality vehicle empire seems rather modest for one of the planet's most prolific car collectors. Aviation collection and assets. Now owing to celebrations and royal residences scattered across the world, the monarch needs his expensive fleet of private Boeing business jets and Sikorsky helicopters to traverse his global empire in true regal style. His Majesty's flagship, Royal Brunei Airlines maintains a VIP state fleet with two dual-floor luxury Boeing Dreamliners featuring private living rooms, ensuite showers, and the latest cutting-edge aviation comfort. 
These exclusive jets contain first-class seating handcrafted by Italian designers with fully lie-flat beds, 40-inch monitors, and the region's first in-flight chef kitchens ready to indulge any royal taste buds with caviar and lobster. No luxury is spared aboard the Sultan's mid-air flying palaces, even featuring automated disaster suppression systems and missile disruption tech to protect Brunei's precious monarch. For domestic trips across Brunei's 16 districts, the royals utilize their own Sikorsky helicopter terminal housing models custom-fitted with luxury specifications, and Royal Brunei's two private hangars store another hundred aircraft, jets, props, and helicopters, exclusively serving the Uber VIP politicians and dignitaries frequenting this petro state. So while other global billionaires or leaders own maybe one or two planes, the Sultan's 120-strong aviation fleet stands uncontested in scale and extravagance for ferrying his family in true princely style on land, air, and sea. Yachts Collection Speaking of maritime magnificence, the Sultan's half-a-billion-dollar yacht collection equally boggles the mind in proportions and amenities specially designed for ruling Brunei's empire from oceanic comfort. Crown jewel among this aquatic armada of elite vessels is none other than the $500 million Taim Sultan, or Calm Sultan, modeled akin to a floating six-star hotel over 165 meters long. Four resplendent decks house two grand reception halls for hosting diplomatic meets, 12 luxury suites with 180-degree ocean views, and handcrafted furniture from Italy's elite design houses. The interiors flaunt exotic gold-leaf ceilings, bespoke chandeliers by Francis Baccarat, along with multiple aquariums housing rare species flown in from across Australasia. And the Pièce de Résistance, a towering lobby centerpiece featuring a solid gold spiral staircase wrapped by an aquarium with jewel-colored tropical fish lighting up the guest entry. Plus, over two dozen dining venues on upper decks equipped with the latest show kitchens and wood-fired ovens to indulge guests from around the world. This majestic mega-yacht fortress meets over-the-top security detail protecting the precious Sultan during maritime getaways. Physical defense systems like military-grade radar watchtowers to anti-RPG missile shields plus bulletproof windows throughout for complete peace of mind. However, believe it or not, the $500 million Time Sultan is not their flagship vessel, but instead, the honor goes to a bigger sibling launched in 2017 named Prince Abdul Wahab. Spanning 201 meters long, their $650 million, Abdul Wahab has been crowned the largest residential superyacht ever constructed by gross tonnage. Meaning this oceanic masterpiece is so mammoth in size that no marina on earth can berth the Prince Abdul to dock safely. Instead, the megaship was custom designed with retractable anchoring stabilizers, enabling accessibility straight onto remote beaches close to Bruneian coastlines. Alternatively, a dedicated deep water terminal is currently being constructed, enabling Prince Abdul's 16-story glory into a permanent rotating dry dock. This billion-dollar floating palace offers outrageous additions like an onboard grand concert hall with a revolving stage and seating for hundreds, gold-leaf gilded elevators ascending ten decks, glass atriums with floor-to-ceiling exotic aquariums, ballrooms requiring internationally renowned artists to perform aboard, dozens of dining venues serving global cuisines, and even garages storing the Sultan's custom made Rolls-Royce convertibles for scenic oceanic joyrides. Truly, words cannot justify the sheer opulence and mega-scale of marine extravagance the petro-fueled Sultan of Brunei has exclusively commissioned for personal leisure unmatched by any yacht owner past or present. It seems endless billions bring endless imagination turning sci-fi dreams into oceanside reality. Businesses and assets empire. Now given his position holding supreme command over Brunei's government assets and lucrative hydrocarbons, all churning out billions in recurring GDP for decades, the Sultan essentially runs his empire as a massively profitable global holding corporation albeit one guided by Islamic principles blending commercial pursuits with charity. First, the Sultan sits as chairman of the Brunei Investment Agency, conservatively managing their $40 billion international portfolio, spreading wealth across landscape sectors. Billions in surpluses from these government-linked companies under the Sultan's guidance then flow into pumping funds across the local economy, as well as their global hotel and hospitality acquisitions in top destinations. 
Additionally, the extended royal family members also run a scattering of successful commercial ventures abroad like Prince Mateen's technology unicorn Swagtech, valued at over $15 billion, or Prince Azim's film production houses for Hollywood flicks, and even Princess Masna's luxury skincare label. Combined with scores of upscale retail franchise distributions for brands like Rolls-Royce, Cartier, and Ducati across Asia. This monarch certainly boasts an entrepreneurial pedigree spanning industries despite public appearances. So, whether it is luxury hotels, supercar dealership chains, or next-gen apps projecting influence globally, no avenue seems unattainable for an empire-hungry sultan expanding his dynasty's hands deeper into honeypot industries churning billions in profits yearly, all funneling back to fund his family's almost divine lifestyles untouched by economic recessions. Now that's some mega-level money magic stemming from mysterious Brunei indeed. Lavish events and parties plus outrageous spending. As the planet's undefeated wealthiest monarch, understandably the Sultan spares absolutely no expenses when it comes to hosting lavish celebrations, events and parties within his bigger than 10 football stadium's palace grounds to commemorate occasions like royal birthdays, wedding anniversaries or visiting foreign delegations. The sheer audacity and level of costs associated with delivering such posh experiences remain simply unbelievable, even factoring in the sheer magnitude of wealth Brunei's leader commands. Whole ceremony halls occupy the palace just dedicated to organizing such vivid occasions. Hundred-member teams overlooking meticulous floral decor, couture draping, musical choreography, and gastronomic delights imported across the globe. The guest arrival procession alone takes over an hour. Intricate welcoming committees roll out red carpets and drape these VIPs in flower necklaces, perfumes and gifts showcasing Brunei's elaborate etiquette, before whisking away dignitaries from Japan to Jamaica through vast golden corridors into disbelief witnessing such grandeur. No costs spared transforming the palace into an Arabian fantasy with exotic additions like albino peacocks and tropical birds. Guests feast upon $1,000 per plate meals using the world's rarest ingredients from Italian truffles and Russian caviar to Kobe Wagyu beef and unusual tropical delicacies for bidding visitors a genuine glimpse into this kingdom's abundant wealth. Entertainment itself requires international superstars such as Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston to dazzle with private performances costing upwards of $5 million flown in on Sultan's Boeing solely to delight his guests I mean, only for life rulers overflowing in billions treat multi-million dollar events like normal weekend home parties. Right after his recent jubilee anniversary, the Sultan hosted 3,000 people over two weeks for sports tournaments, a global business summit, and a music festival across dedicated venues, including flying a custom Ferris wheel from the UK purely to impress foreign leaders. Talk about uncontrolled lavishness stretching infinitely like his riches. Throwing a few hundred million to surprise overseas allies gets dismissed like purchasing another Rolls-Royce inside the palace. And that's just a taste of how bottomless oil funding trickles on most random life luxuries like $20 million importing fresh flowers daily, replacing every vase across the palace. Yes, daily floral arrangements cost more than a Lamborghini. Building billion-dollar district cooling facilities to air-condition dozens of bedrooms to a precise degree. $250K dining extravagances overnighting Japan's top geisha performers alongside 20 pounds beluga caviar, 24K gold-dusted kobe steaks, and personalized $500K cakes encrusted in jewels. Literal food art. $10 million custom-made diamond watches, jewel-encrusted handbags for wives, and solid gold spectacle frames flown in from Italy exclusively for the Sultan, bespoke at an unheard-of level. A fleet of hundred masseuses and fitness coaches for relief, a hundred more chefs on standby, or even a full-time orchestra for serenading His Majesty any time as desired. This is peak royalty few can fathom. When entire income earned from national oil profits flows freely into one family's pockets every year, such unrestrained decadence becomes essentially the monarchy's duty to pump back fortunes blessing native citizens and regional allies. A counting of billions gets fuzzy outpacing their whimsical lifestyle inflation. Simply a marvel witnessing a trillionaire clan so immersed in wealth far beyond perceived human needs.